Hi, right, good to see you again, it's Graham Martin, I'm the recruitment guy. Well these aren't exactly CV nightmares and I've been told off a lot by perhaps taking the mickey out of some people's CVs, but I thought I'd share these in a slightly more holistic view today. The first one is a, is a chap who's applied to us for a job in the, in the web development sector. Now actually he's not good for that because he doesn't have the experience. But what I wanted to share wasn't so much the fact that he was inappropriate, it was the fact the way he represented his CV. Now this guy's been involved as a runner and supporting people in the film sector. Now that might be relevant if you're applying for a job within the film business or you want to support a director or a producer, but really not for this role. But I'm not going to show you his, his actual name because that's inappropriate, but he's a local guy and on the top of his CV he's just given us the basic details. But look what we've got here. Joe, can you see that? What we've got is a long list of all the credits that he's been involved in as a runner within the film business. Now, you know, it doesn't just stop there. He goes on to page two as well, and then at the bottom he talks about some employment history, of which three years was an administrative assistant within the local authority. So my point here is that if you're applying for a job whereupon you've got some specific experience, of course flag it up, but not a page and a half. And I'd always preface it with your actual work experience at the front. And indeed there's nothing on here at all for this guy that says what he's really looking for. Remember most recruiters are lazy or stupid or both, and actually we want to see up front, Joe's shaking her head behind the camera, but what we want to see is in the very first paragraph the essence of what you are and what you're looking for. Now, let's go to the other extreme. Again, I'm not going to show you this chap's name because it's inappropriate. I'm currently recruiting for a finance director position. It's a, it's a good job. It's paying up to £90,000. It's in North London, South Arts. So what he's done is he's given me this as his at a glance. Now, I like to get things at a glance. I think we all like sort of brief information. But this is nearly a page. I've got to plough the way through that. But not only have we got that, he's written me an individual letter, which I think is quite nice. Uh, there's some relevant points here. This is where he tells me what he's looking for. Uh, reference to your recent advert on the internet, I'm really pleased to submit my details. I'm keen to establish myself and settle down. Doesn't really tell me what he's doing. It's only on about paragraph four that I get a feel of his background in accounting. Uh, and a good synopsis in terms of what he's looking for, salary and his availability. But then I've got another five pages of CV. And it's just too much. You know, honestly, page one. And a lot of them are contract positions. He's gone into a lot of detail for positions that are essentially the same. And I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> and really, please, anybody that's thinking about doing more than two pages, just remember us poor, bowed, breathing, overstressed, overworked, underpaid recruiters, we just don't have time to go through this. So unless you're going to give it to us quickly as a synopsis in the first paragraph, just don't go any further. Okay, so not some CV nightmares, but some CV advice. That's all for me, Graham Martin, the recruitment guy with a bad throat. Bye for now.